What was your most embarrassing moment with your host family? Did your parents pay all your exchange here? What do you think you will miss about Brazil? Hello and welcome to my new video. Today's video is going to be another Q&A. Just that this Q&A is going to be in English because a lot of people of my audience were like complaining that I always do videos in German. So yay, this is a video in English. Before we start, I just wanted to tell you that my English is not perfect because I'm from Germany and not from the United States or from Canada. So please don't judge me and I really hope you understand everything what I'm saying. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Leonie, I'm 16 years old and I'm from Germany. At the moment I'm doing an exchange here in the city Curitiba, which is in Brazil. So yeah, that's it. Let's get started. <laughs> Was it hard to learn Portuguese? It wasn't that hard because there's a big difference if you learn a language at school or if you just go to the country and listen and speak the language the whole entire day. For me it was kind of easy and I also feel like my Portuguese after a half year living in Brazil is better than my French after four years studying at school. When do you come back to Germany? I come back to Germany on the 11th of July in 2019. Which languages do you speak? I speak German, English, French, Italian, Portuguese and I understand Spanish. Did you ever think that you would do the things you did in this exchange? Descuba pelo inglês. Tudo bem, eu achei muito bom ser inglês. I never imagined doing the things I did because I had a completely different thought about how my school might be. So I also thought that Brazil is a very tropical country in general and that it's like always hot the whole year. But I didn't know that there is something like Curitiba existing. Do you recommend going on exchange with 15 or later? As you probably know, I went on exchange with 15 and I didn't really have problems because I was too young. But it, I think it really depends on how mature you are. And if you just don't feel ready to go on exchange with 15, then don't do it. Go with 16, 17, 18. What do you think you will miss about Brazil? I think I'm kind of going to miss everything, like every positive and negative point of Brazil. I think I'm really going to miss my best exchange student friends as well as my best Brazilian friends and of course my host families, like one family more, one family less, but in general my host families. What's your favorite language? I think that a lot of languages are really really pretty, like for example Portuguese, I think it's a really pretty language and as well as English, German, French and I also think like these Asian languages are really cool. Do you learn Portuguese in your German school? No, I don't. My German school offers English, French, Latin, Italian, Spanish and Chinese, I think. I think that's it. Which grade did you finish in Germany and how many years are left for you? I finished grade 9 in Germany and when I'm coming back to Germany I will probably have to make two or three years more. Um, it really depends on how good I am at school. Subjects you're most afraid of when you come back to Germany. I'm not afraid that my friends or family forgot about me or that I missed something in this year, but I'm afraid of that when I'm coming back to the school that it's too much for me because I will have to study every day and it's like a lot of school pressure as it was before my exchange. So in this exchange here I'm really so relaxed, I do kind of nothing and at the moment I'm in vacation for three months, no I think two, two months and ten days. I feel like it kind of could be hard. Does your German family miss you and are you in contact every day? I, I hope they miss me, I really miss them. We're not in contact every day but like twice a week really depends on the day. Sometimes we are in contact every day of the week. It depends on how much program I have, like how many appointments with friends or if I'm in, on vacation or in school. So depends. What do you miss the most about Germany? I really miss my best friends as well as my parents and my whole family of course. And I really miss going outside without being afraid. 
because when I'm going on the streets here in Brazil or if I'm going running, if I go to the center, if I'm going by bus, I don't want to say that I'm really like afraid of every person I'm seeing. But sometimes it's really, oh my god, he's going to rob me. Do you think a small or a big school is better for exchange students? I don't think that you can blame the size of your school for anything. In my class there were 30 people. At the beginning I didn't really know who was going to be my friend and who not so much. But then after like three weeks, four weeks, I really found my squad, if I can say it like this, like my three best friends in school. Can you do a cooking Brazilian food episode? Yes, with you, Tyler. <laughs> Did your parents pay all your exchange here? As you probably know, an exchange here is not the cheapest thing on earth, but my parents did not pay everything. My parents paid a part, I paid a part, my grandmother paid a part. Is your exchange here really one whole year or is it shorter or longer? So my exchange here is not one year, like not 12 months. It's 11 months and 10 days. What's the exchange organization? I'm here with Rotary Youth Exchange. Which district are you from? I'm from, like in Germany, I'm from 1841. And here in Brazil, I'm in 4730. What was your most embarrassing moment with your host family? So I don't really think that there was a really embarrassing moment with any host family. So I'm very happy about this. But in my first family one time, my host sister, my no, my host sister, her boyfriend and me were going out for eating hot dogs, like Kashoho Kente. Just that it was very late, like 2 a.m. And I forgot to bring money and when we paid they were like, didn't you bring money? And that was kind of embarrassing for me because it was at the beginning but a situation like this would not be very embarrassing for me anymore because now I'm very used to this weird situation as an exchange student. Can you do a makeup video? I'm not wearing makeup so no. What is your favorite clothing store? So I really like C&A and Tanner because I just like the style of these stores. But I think the stores I like the most are these street stores, which are for example in Rua das Flores and streets like this. And normally if you buy a shirt on these markets or street stores or however it's getting called, uh, you won't find another person wearing the same shirt. So I think that's very cool because you're the only person wearing it. And the last question is how is the weather like at the moment? And Friday it's 27 degrees, Sunday 30, Saturday 24, yeah, so it's going to get colder now because the past few days it was always like 30, 35 degrees, so very hot and I'm really happy that it's a bit colder now, like my fresquinho. That was my English Q&A, I really hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, then give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe me yet, then subscribe me. Probably there are going to come more English videos, but also there's coming a Portuguese video and of course German videos, because my channel is going to stay German. <laughs> if you have any feedback, then just write it down below in the comments. I would be really glad if you did this. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Ciao! And I thought that Brazil is, in general, a really tropical country. Or if you just go to the country and listen and speak the language the whole day, every day. Did you ever think of... Did you ever... Okay, again. So, I... It's not very probable. I, I'm really kind of afraid here. There were some people coming. I know it's. I don't think that you can blame the size of your school for. Like, everyone pays a bit and then it's okay. If you have any feedback, then just write it down 